We spoke about the importance of strong partnerships for the network that we are about to launch. And it is my pleasure to now welcome the chef de cabinet of the UN Secretary General, Ms. Maria Luisa Ribeiro Viotti. Ms. Viotti, please, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, and good afternoon to all of you. Your Excellency, Madame uh, Minata Samate Sesuma, Commissioner for Political Affairs. Your Excellency, Madame Catherine Sambapanza, former President of the Central African Republic. Distinguished panelists, ladies and gentlemen. Let me start by conveying the greetings of Secretary General Antonio Guterres, who thanks you for your commitment and leadership in advancing the cause of women's equality and empowerment. He attaches great importance to your work and looks forward to continuing to build strong ties with the African Union. Thank you, Madame Vineta Diop, for spearheading the African Women Leaders Network that is being launched today. Gender parity and inclusion are crucial for improving conflict prevention and peacemaking efforts, as has been rightly uh, highlighted here. In both conflict and non-conflict settings, women's meaningful participation strengthens decision-making processes, paving the way for effective and accountable governance, which is a key element in building stable and prosperous societies. Women's contributions are also central to addressing the root causes of violent conflict from poverty to marginalization. Your presence here today showcases the vast expertise of women across the world and in Africa in particular. The new network can help to make this expertise more visible while nurturing the next generation of African women leaders. The network's very existence has important symbolic value, but of course it will be crucial to use your influence in tangible ways to address the specific challenges that women face in joining political life. For example, it can be very difficult for women to obtain campaign financing and media coverage. In many places, electoral reforms will be needed for women to play their full and rightful role. This new network is well-placed to use its expertise to overcome such obstacles. Uh, we would like to encourage all member states and civil society partners to provide all possible support. I thank the government of Germany for backing this initiative and for being such a strong advocate for gender equality. You, when, uh, you and women will continue to do its part, its part, of course. You can also count on the, the Secretary General to pursue gender equality around the world and within the United Nations. Indeed, the surge in diplomacy that he has called for includes strengthening our mediation capacity, including by increasing the number of women mediators and designing more inclusive peace processes. The heightened emphasis on conflict prevention that is also at the core of his agenda likewise requires having women's voices front and center. In that spirit, we look forward to working with you and we wish this network every success. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Ms. Viotti, for this important expression of support of you and of the UN Secretary General. Thank you very much, Madam.